authenticity, cultural values, and the sway of political rhetoric lie at the heart of today's debates. The messages of Tim Walls and J.D. Vance strike chords with different voter classes, highlighting cultural and ideological divides, along with pressing policy concerns and societal anxieties. And I want to just point this out before we let uh, the media ask me some questions that I think it's really disgraceful, both for Kamala Harris, but also for a lot of the American media that participates in this stuff, to have a person who's been the presumptive nominee of the Democrat Party for 17 days and refuses to take a single question from the American media. Now, it's well known, of course, that President Trump and I will go anywhere, we'll answer any question because we respect the American people enough to actually ask them for them, their vote rather than sit in front of a teleprompter, read scripted lines and run away from every reporter and every every actual citizen who's going to decide this election. I think it's a scandal, and I think the vice president should be ashamed of herself. So hopefully our, our reporters out there in the audience will start doing their job a little bit and going and demanding that Kamala Harris actually answer to the American people. And what should she answer for? And I think it's an important thing to point out here before I kick it over to you guys for some questions. Well, one thing she should answer for, we're in a great American manufacturing facility here, and I appreciate y'all showing up and, and standing behind me. But one thing we know, is that you cannot manufacture in this country unless you have access to low cost power. And we happen to be sitting on the Saudi Arabia of natural gas in this country. Tim Walls's criticism of left wing policies on LGBTQ education and gender issues resonates with the core values and conservative worries about child rearing within the American middle class. His portrayal of J.D. Vance as creepy and weird seems a calculated move to tarnish Vance's credibility and appeal. Walsh's fiery rebuttals against critiques of his own policies, positioning them as misaligned with conservative values, aim to elicit public empathy for leaders who stand firm on fundamental norms and priorities. In this emotional landscape, the authenticity of one's connection to middle-class values becomes paramount. Voters yearn for leaders who genuinely reflect their principles and address their deepest concerns about the direction of society.